Hey guys, PSV here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video of me doing a mod review of a truck on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today we are reviewing the Euro 43220. Just like always, the link will be down in the description of this mod. So if you would like to, if you like what you see and you'd like to check it out for yourself, the link will be down there for you to download it. So as you can see, I've done no customizations to this at all. This is how it comes when you first buy it. It's quite a weird looking sort of truck. But like I say, I think it's quite an enjoyable truck. I'm quite enjoying driving it. Let's just start it up so you can hear what it sounds like. Listen very carefully to this. Now that is a nice truck starting up. Let's hop off inside. As you can see the inside. Don't like the yellow trim, but you know, I can live with that. I like how the way there's all the buttons and that, they look pretty cool. Let's drive over and see what customizations we can do to this truck. So now we're in the place where we can customize and do configurations to our truck. Let's start off with the cabins. So as you can see we've only got one box down the cabin like we did have on the Volvo VT um, 880. That was the last one that we reviewed. So we have only got one cab. Let's move to the chassis. Now this is what I like to see when we have chassis. I like to see on a mod where we have loads of different s chassis with us. Okay, so it may it's just telling us about the paint and stuff. Okay, that's fine. So I'm guessing these are the two. Yeah, these are the two chassis that you get with the mod. You get them all, but they're just saying that it may uh, conflict parts to default with the paint and stuff. Because look at what you can do, ladies and gentlemen. That looks a bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. Look at these different chassis that you can get. You can even get one that has this on the back. I haven't tried this one with the with trying to attach a trailer because I don't see how it's gonna attach. But I'm sure to try that out on a separate video. But for this purpose, we're just going to go, I think, for one like that. The transmissions. Oh, no, the engine. Sorry, we're not on transmissions yet. Jumping ahead of myself. So engines. We have a, all different types amount of engines. This is the one that we get with it. The 300 horsepower. <laughs> and I tried, just took this through a little drive, just to see how it was pulling a 14-ton trailer. For 14 tons, like this B should pull it easy. It was a disaster. It was horrible trying to drive it. So if I was you guys, I'd definitely go for 400 horsepower on this engine. Try and max it out. It's due to the fact it's quite difficult to uh, pull heavy loads with. So for this purpose, I'm going to go for the 400. The transmissions, obviously we've got the 141, then the 10 speed, then the 10 speed heavy, just again. I think for this one, we're going to go, I think we'll just go for the 10 speed, the 125. Inside interior, it's not really much you can do, apart from, what did that do? Oh, okay, you can have it, so it has like, shotgun barrels by the looks of it, and like a bit of paper. Oh, right, and you get this middle bit here with a gun. You can have a gun in your truck. I do think that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I think we'll go for that one. What's this one do? Is that just... That gets rid of everything completely. Oh god, I just noticed that there's a gun there as well, like a handgun. Let's jump outside and see if we can see that. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So there's the interior sorted. We're going to have that interior. So as you can see, there's three different interiors. What well, do have, like, obviously, a few changes. It's not really, didn't really change much, just added a few accessories to the truck. Okay, so here we are where we can choose the different paintings to the truck. So obviously we can have obviously all the bulk standard paintings. We will take this into the paint shop to do the paint work. So we're not going to worry about painting on this option here. Let's see what accessories we can do. So we can change this tyre. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's how it should look. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely go for that. What's all these? Holy crow. Okay, so you can get one that matches. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty cool mod. Not gonna lie. Okay, so you can see that we've got five different um, ball bars that like you can add. Obviously, you can add all different accessories to them. Not finished picking the one I want. I don't know what one I want. I quite like that. But I think what we will do is just stick some of these lights. Instead of putting main beam lights on it, we can put some of these. You're probably thinking 50k custom. Yeah, that is a different mod. I will link that as well down in description. Um, that's a different mod. It's not really something I could do a review on. It's just lights and tyres and stuff. But we'll link uh, link that down in the description so you guys can have these lights as, as well. But let's get back to the mod. There don't seem to really be any different lights that you can get with it. Let's just light that up so that looks, that looks pretty swag. Okay, what can we add down here? I think we'll leave that. We can add just some screamers coming off of it. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll add some screamers coming off it just to uh, make people a bit scared. Okay, so this looks quite cool. What can we do here? Oh, okay. It wasn't as exciting as I wanted it to be. Okay, so we can just add like a shitload of radios, aerials on there. I think we'll just stick with the two. What's this? All oh, right, so we can add or see the lights down there. I think we'll have them ones. They look quite nice. Okay, so we can. Get oh wow! <laughs> oh god! Just as I thought this mod was good, they've kind of just ruined it. <laughs> What's that one? That looks cool. Okay, so as you know, on your old Euro truck, you can select your logo for your business, and it kind of has them logos, but then it does have a few others. Like Russian flag, that, danger. Okay, I don't know if we're going to have any of them today. They look a bit weird. I guess we could just have a number there just to jazz up the door a little bit. So the mirrors, obviously we've got the plastic or we can have painted what will match your cab colour. I think we'd go for the plastic ones. I always seem to like going plastic on the cabs. On the mirrors for the cab. Okay, so there is a button there. What's that for? Oh! Oh, I like. Okay, guys, so when you have got this mod, be very careful that you don't miss. You have to go up, and there's like a little button there. Make sure you don't miss that, because you can add this beast to it. Now, that's what I call a monster. Okay, let's make our way around a bit more. Make sure we don't miss any of them hiding little dots. Not I can see. I'll see the tyres we've seen, and we've done the same there. So you can get the dot from there as well. That's pretty nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright then. We can uh, have all the super lights. Let's light that up and see what it looks like. Whoa. I'm going to have to have that. That one just doesn't expire me. I'm going to have to have that. That looks pretty epic. So let's have a look at the adjustments in the cab. Obviously. What's the point in that? Um, yeah, let's get rid of them. Also, you can add your box standard number plates like you can always do. Oh, hello. Okay, so you can adjust. That's a bit weird. That's uh, the ball bar. What's out the front? If I show you guys, just in case you forgot this bit. The ball bar, you can edit the lights from the inside. Yeah, I think they may have to sort that out. Let's see what this one does. Oh, well, yes, this is what I'm talking about. We can add our own little uh, GPS. Oh, no, we've got to have the radio, I think. That looks too cool. And I was getting the number plate. Let's just see. It's probably going to be... Oh, right, okay. Okay. I think we have the GPS there. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm guessing this is just the mirrors again. Yep, that's fine. Okay, let's confirm this and head over to the paint shop and see what paint customizations we can do to this. Okay, so I was a little bit disappointed coming into the paint shop. 
because all we've got is this testing paint. Yeah, that does look nice. But does it expire me? I, qu I do quite like that, actually. I quite like it in the white. Looks a bit of a monster of a truck. Yeah, no, that. I think we'll stick with that one, but we'll do the testing one. Obviously, again, we have got where we can select our own colours, and we've got the metallic. Hmm, the paint options are not the greatest. You only really get one. But I guess they're more concentrated on the uh, customizations. I think we'll stick with that. Let's head out of this and see what our beast looks like, shall we? Oh, hello. Yes, that's what you call a truck. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. With our nice female, dr female driver. Just so I'm not being sexist, you know. Got to let a woman have a go. Beans, it is a unisex game. Look at that. Let's start this beast up. Hang on a minute. Have you just heard that? Have you noticed since I've upgraded that engine, it kind of sounds a bit naff? Let's take this for a cruise and see what we... That is handy with that sat nav up the top there. Okay, so as you can see, the turning circle is pretty good for a big lorry like this. Better than the Volvo v the VT that we done a mod review on. Okay, so it's very loud from the inside of the cab. Very loud sound. It's like the windows have been opened. Okay, that wind, uh, okay, that wing mirror looks a bit dodgy. That wing mirror does look very bit dodgy, doesn't it? But it's driving quite nicely. Obviously, it's got a bit more power than it did have when we had the smaller engine, but that's understandable. You're going to put a bigger engine, the more power you're going to get from it, obviously faster it gets but it's just the sound it doesn't sound as nice it may just be me but I did prefer the sound of the smaller engine what I think was a 300 horsepower it didn't pull very well but it sounded so much nicer Do you know what I mean so we're just pulling away from these traffic lights Heading back to our garage, just have one final look at this lorry. And then we can give it our rating like we always do on our mod reviews. Let's just pull it into the garage. I'm not going to park it straight up into the garage, just going to swing it around here. Oh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> Did not see them cars there. There's never cars parked up here. Oh dear. <laughs> oh well. Okay. So. Here's my review of the mod. Of the truck on ETS 2. Of the uh, Euro 4320. Fantastic little mod here. Very good in one big little package. Well, big and little package don't really make any sense. But in a little package, you weren't too big of a file. You do get quite a nice amount of stuff. Okay, I think it's about time that we've done a rating on this truck. I'm going to rate this truck a good, let's just say, 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10, I'm going to rate this one. I'm really enjoying this. What let it down? perhaps more customizations in the paint um, and also the engine sound when you swap that kind of dropped a couple of marks for me but yeah an 8.5 8 out of 10 I hope you guys all enjoyed the video if you did please ensure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on any other 
mods you would like me to review I will take requests like I said all the links will be down in the description so if you did enjoy this video come back for more keep on trucking